Hi everybody, it's me Debbie Carberry from debbiecarberry.com.au and today I'm talking about detaching and detaching is an interesting topic. Some people think it's um, quite a cold word. Detaching is really important in relationships. It's about unhooking ourselves from other people's stuff, usually negative stuff. So. Um, when I think about detaching within a relationship, it's about creating some emotional distance between ourselves and what's going on for the other person so that we're not in, in turmoil and, and sort of um, reactive to other people's emotional state. What sort of things do we need to detach from? Okay, well things like um, focusing on your partner's life more than your own so that you're actually really um, preoccupied with what's going on in your partner's life. Um, getting quite obsessive about your partner's life can leave you kind of feeling a bit uncomfortable. Um, if you accept unacceptable behaviour from a partner, you know, if your partner is behaving in ways that are really unkind or cruel or inappropriate, then it's good to be able to detach from that and make healthy choices for yourself. Um, Rescuing, which is interesting because you know lots of women try and be helpful, but oftentimes this can mean that you're going in helping somebody who actually doesn't need your help and actually can do things for themselves. So, rescuing can be something you need to detach from. And there's a big one which I see often in relationships in my clinic, and that is this pull me, push me dance. So, that when one partner um, seeks closeness the other one seeks distance and so this this awful distance connection thing can really impact the relationship and learning to detach from that dance can be really helpful for the couple sometimes we have to detach because maybe our partner has a lot of distance from us and it's too uncomfortable for us the distance for us is too uncomfortable and it's quite challenging or our partner may not be willing to share how they feel about us um, they may withhold um, expressions of love from us and that can be extraordinarily painful for some people so detaching is a really helpful tool in a relationship Detaching isn't actually cold or mean or cruel. It's actually the opposite. You know, we detach in a loving way. We go, I, I'm not going to participate in that behavior because it's not really helpful for us and this relationship or for me personally. So detaching can be a really helpful thing, even though it might sound a little bit cold. It's not cold at all. So how can we detach? What can we do to actually detach from things that are um, negative or destructive in our relationship? So one of the things that you can do is actually learn acceptance. You know, we we can't change other people. They can do whatever they choose to do. Uh, we don't need to like what they do or approve of what they do or agree with what they do, but we can accept that it is what it is. That can be really hard, but when we sit in a place of going, I accept this for what it is, the struggle in the situation can drop quite, quite dramatically. So it's really important to try and get into an accepting space. Something else that we can do is remember that, you know, there's some things we have no control over. Another human being you have no control over at all. Um, people can do whatever they want. Um, some of those things can be awful to you. If you're in a relationship and somebody is being hurtful or cruel or abusive, that's not okay. But we can't control that. That person may choose to do that. We have control over what we do with that, but we have no control over their particular behavior. Um, paying attention. You know, really putting attention on what's important in the relationship, focusing on things that you can change and, and using those things in your relationship, focusing on those things that will create change for the two of you is really important when you detach. You can practice doing things differently and I think people sometimes think they're stuck and they, they can't do anything differently. There's a helicopter very late outside. <laughs> But you can change what you do. Um, noticing that you are reacting to somebody, um, understanding that um, you know their behavior is not acceptable to you, and saying, okay, what am I gonna do differently this time? What am I going to choose to do in this particular uh, situation? Um, so making a choice and actually practicing doing something differently. The other thing, and I say this to lots of couples and people can get pretty upset with me when I do is, we each own 50% of the relationship. Both people are responsible for their part. And we've got to take responsibility for our part in the behavior. You know, if we have done or said something and that has created a situation, it's important for us to take responsibility for that. Um, but we don't take responsibility for the other person's stuff. We just take responsibility for our own. 
The final part of detaching, really hi whoever's saying hello to me there. The other important part of detaching is, you know what, be compassionate to yourself. Be compassionate. We are all doing our best. Nobody shows up and goes, I'm going to do a really bad job today. In our relationships, sometimes we bring our best selves and sometimes we bring the best we have for that day. Learning to detach from our partner's behavior, learning to actually take um, responsibility for our own behavior can massively change the landscape of your relationship. Hi there, Maggie. So, practice detaching with love. It absolutely helps relationships. Be aware where we're more healthy. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you would like help in your relationship, um, I'll put a link underneath the video um, with my details. I help couples and women to manage their relationships better and they have happier relationships. Also, if um, you want to comment about anything I've said in the video, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much, everybody. See ya.